Right. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory mm -hmm. to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the whole lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Abashah, pushing them to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole lake, the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shah? And what I want to get into this morning is how our people, you know, still participate <clears throat> in folly. All right? 2021 going into 2022, you still have the mass majority of our people, all right, that are willingly participating in the folly of this satanic kingdom, you know? <clears throat> because what's happening now. That's what the scriptures talk about, our people adding sin to sin, all right, and our people being in iniquity, all right, which is just stacking sin on top of sin because our people are still fully engaged with this society and participating, you know, in this wickedness, man, you know, because it's been exposed time after time again, all right, that Esau Edom is, worship, is a worshiper of the spiritual demon Satan, all right? And he has infused a lot of Satan worship within society. And people still, all right, willingly participate in this man's madness and this folly, man. And that's going to be accounted against them in the time of judgment. That's why Yahweh Shai, he said this when he was speaking to Nicodemus. All right. When you go to St. John 3 and 1, it said there was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shah by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So Yahweh Shah made that statement, which uh, 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 is very profound, in the scriptures, and you hear that being mentioned a lot about being born again. You see, and being born again is is what man flushing out. You know your mind. Your mind has to be completely reset. You know to truly be brought up and be raised up. And what righteousness is, man. We have to start all over when we come into this ministry, man, and reconsider everything that we've been taught, man. You know, the the the, the, the Holy Spirit. It's like the most high downloading a righteous program within us, man. Because this society bred us to be anti-Messiah and participate in anti-Messiah rituals, man. You see? Because people take it light about these holidays and, you know, the things that people are into. But what Esau Elam has done, he has watered down these satanic rituals. You see, you just do the decorations, you know, with the, with the, with the, um, with the Christmas tree, you know, with the uh, red stockings, with, you know, the red wrap around your doorpost. But see, Esau Edom is actually sacrificing kids during this time, all right? That's why the main color of Christmas is red, because there's a lot of sacrifice going on during this time, man. You know, from from, from um, uh, December 17th to the 25th, there's a lot of satanic sacrifice, man. You know, going to uh, December 21st, which is Saturnalia. Which goes back to Nimrod. You see? There's a lot of sacrifice that's happening, you know, during these times. And what they do, they just give you a watered down version of what they're doing behind the scenes. So you're participating, you're helped forward that satanic energy of Esau Edom by participating in this folly, man. You know? So when you go from there, and it says, um, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to keep reading. It said, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shah said, because he was thinking carnal, but it was, it's about being a spiritual rebirth. All right? Yahweh Shah answered, Verily, verily, which is truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And the lie of our people will not be able to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. All right, which means they're not going to be delivered on those chariots. You see, they're not going to get in that way. They're going to have to be literally born again in the kingdom. 
All right, because they couldn't be born again in the spirit this time. So now, the <clears throat> Ha'abashim Al-Shah pretty much is shutting off deliverance to our people that can't be born again. They can't detach. They can't be reprogrammed from this wicked satanic society, man. You know, because Esau has turned the majority of the earth out, especially Jake in America, man. All right? He has turned Jake into Satanist, this rebellious, stiff-necked, you know, anti-Messiah energy that our people come in is, is the root cause of it because of Esau, man. You know, because he made it cute. He made it something to, to be desired. All right? Now, we're going to jump down. This is, um, I'll jump down to verse 10, John 3 and 10. It says, Yahweh shot an answer and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily I say unto thee, We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Yeah, so if we're telling you earthly things about the origins of these holidays, all right? We're telling you earthly things about the wickedness that these people do behind the scenes, and you don't get it. You, you, you for sure not going to get spiritual things, man. You know, spiritual power coming, you know, to the house of David in this time. All right? Chariots. People call UFO. Those are the chariots of Israel. You're not going to get those things if you can't even comprehend the wickedness that Esau Edom is doing in the earth, man. You see? And anyway, our people are, are obedient to folly, man. You know? Because, see, the, 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 Jake is being condemned on all levels because it ain't that Jake can't comprehend to be obedient. Jake just don't want to be obedient to righteousness, man. You know? Because no one is a, a, a more obedient to the mass mandate than Jake. No one is more obedient to the social distancing than Jake. All right? Nobody, man. The nigga woman. You know, she put her life on the line to try to enforce, you know, the mass mandate. You see? So they are, they are obedient. They just obedience to folly, man. You know? And they can know the origin of these holidays, but just because it feels good to the flesh, our people won't stop participating, man. You know, because it feels good to, you know, show off your Christmas gifts on your timeline. You know, your husband buy you a new car. And at the end of the day, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting gifts. We got a, a high holy day where we give each other gifts for eight days, man. You know, going to Hanukkah, man, the Kanak. And we and, and, and that high holy day represents victory over Edom and the rededication of the temple, which we the temple. Us being drawn back to our power. You see, our, our high holy days represents victory over our enemies. A lot of our high holy days, man, the Passover, all right, Purim. You see, those high holy days represent victory over the enemy, man. And you how about Shema Shah intervening on behalf all right, of his people. You see? But you people are directly worshiping Satan, man. Giving your energy to Satan. You know? Like I said, we got high holy days where, where we supply like Jake uh glad to be off. Well, we had high holy days where we was off weeks at a time, man. A week at a time. You know, no work to be done, just feast. You see? But Jake. All right, that don't that don't thrill Jake because you, you can't show off your gifts. You can't compare, you know, look what my boo got me, or bae got me, you know? Which at the end of the day, why do you have to wait to a particular day to, to do something for your woman or your husband or your children, man? You know? Why, why is it so confined to one day? You see? Because you can be a great father, but if you don't, Buy gifts on that one day, you know, you let the family down, man. And there's nothing but psychological and emotional manipulation that Esau Edom uses, man. But at the end of the day, it's Satanism. Now, I'm going to jump down because this is a very interesting dialogue that Howard Shaw was having with Nicodemus. And this is um St. John 3 and 18. It says, He that believeth on him, all right, I started at 17, said for the this is John 3 and 17. He said, For the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Because 
at that time, Yahweh wasn't there to judge, all right, Israel, all right. He was there to be that sacrifice. You see, that through that sacrifice, you will have a remnant of the world of Israel, you know, that will be saved, that will come to the light, that will come to the understanding of the truth, all right. So Yahweh when he came, all right, he didn't came to, to, to put Jake to death at that time, all right. He came to be that sacrifice and that example on how we should be. The wise scriptures say, looking unto you, how was I the author and finisher of our faith? He was that pioneer, you know? And now you have his men walking in his same steps, man. You know? Having that spirit of being obedient even unto death, man. You know? Sacrificing in this world, all right, for the world to come, like Yahweh Shah did. You see? So we have an example on how we're supposed to be in the earth, but Jake is following the example of who, man? Esau Edom, with Esau Edom is following who? Satan, man. You know? And it says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. Alright? But he he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name. Alright? And there goes that name. You see? Has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shah. And when you believe in that name, you believe in authority, man. Because you can't just know the name and then don't reverence the authority that Yahweh Shah has amongst Israel, man. Among, well, within existence, man. You know? Because even though the disciples said, even the what type of man or man is this that even the winds obey? <laughs> you see? You can't just know his name and not recognize his, his authority, you know? And then submit to the authority that he has, man. All right? Verse 19, this is the point. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And see, this is the condemnation, the spirit of Yahweh Shah that's on his men, this is condemning the whole world of Israel. Now these heathens threw anyway. All right? They condemned anyway. They're heathens. But see, the, 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 the spirit of Yahweh Shah that's on his men, all right, is condemning this the uh, uh, world of Israel, man, you know, because now we have the way, but Jake still want to participate in darkness, man, because it's so uh, pleasing unto the flesh, man, you see, adultery, chasing the bag, or uh, killing the nigga, rapping about it, all right, a nigga woman, you know, finessing Jake, all right, with child support and, you know, uh, 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 getting pregnant by rich niggas and getting, you know, getting over on them and all these things that our people are into, all right, with that, that culture of uh, uh, sugar babies, you see, the nigga woman want to be a sugar baby instead of a wife to an Israelite man, they love darkness, man, but see, now that this word is constantly going out every day, our people are more condemned, man, now, is now when they celebrate Christmas, this a, this a whole nother uh, offense that's put on them, man. This is a heavy offense that our people just did yesterday, man. And our people constantly keep doing, man. You know? Just their lifestyle in general. And then they add on top of it, they're participating in folly, Satanism, man. You know? So they're condemned more and more and more as this word continues to go out, man. Because we're, we're, we're showing our people their transgression. You know? When you go there, let's get there real quick in Isaiah. All right? So we couldn't just tell Israel that they was going off. This is on Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, spread not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, show my people their transgression. We're showing them their transgression. We're showing them the origins of these things that our people are participating in. We commanded to do that, and it's been done. You know, brothers have went all into the Christmas, all into the Easter, all into uh, 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 the, 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 um, the ancient cultures of ancient Babylon dealing with Nimrod. Because, see, what people don't realize, this is a heavy satanic time of the worship of Nimrod. All right? And when you go into Nimrod in ancient Babylon, that was pretty much the first anti-Messiah society empire that was in the earth. You see? That's why he keeps, he's saying Merry Christmas. That's Merry, all right, which is happy, all right, 
uh, 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 priest going back into, you know, the Messiah, all right, and mass, mass is death. So hip, happy death to the Messiah. And that's what people are chanting throughout this whole season. Happy death to the Messiah, man. They are pushing their energy of crossing out Yahweh Shah, man, and establishing Satan. You see? And Jake, you're knee deep into it, man. Now we're, you know, we're wise as a serpent. Somebody might, you know, we're walking, somebody tell us Merry Christmas. You know, I don't say it back. You know, I nod my head, smile a little bit, but at the end of the day, all right, we know what these things mm -hmm. are rooted in, man. You see? And we've constantly told our people what they're rooted in. But Jake is still participating. So we're showing Jake their transgression, man. We're not just telling them you off. We're showing you how. And according to the scriptures. Then like I say, brothers go into the secular history of what was going on during these empires and why you do the things that you do today and how it's ruling Satanism, man. But Jake is still a heavy participant of folly, man. You know, to this day, no one participates in folly more than Jake, man. You see? So reading it again, Isaiah 58 and um, 1, it says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins, man. And their house goes into their lineage, man, which is all our people. And we're showing them, man, openly. Back to back to back, constantly showing them, you know, their folly, man. Even when you go to, um, let's get there to Michael. And one thing about it, Jake... Jake don't recognize the authority of another Jake. But you see when Esau tells him to do something, all right, Jake is ten toes down, man. You know? Um, Michael. You know, but the Alba Shimal Shah has gave particular men, all right, the authority, you know, to correct, you know, our people. You know? And you're going to have those that was always rebellion that's going to buck up and not reverence that authority, you know? And we're not here to be overbearing on Jake because we in the flesh too. We realistic. We're not trying to put the whole law on Jake. We're not trying to tell Jake, you know, to be over-righteous, you know? we That's why we're in the same position as everyone else so we can really judge the matters. Like I said, you can't stop people from saying Merry Christmas to you. You ain't going to stop your whole family from participating you know, in these high holy days, man. You're not going to stop your job. You know, they might give you a Christmas bonus. You take the bonus, you know. But we we not participate. We're not giving our energy to these things, all right, and blindly participating in folly, man, you know. This is uh, Micah 3 and, uh, and 8, yep. It says, but truly... I am full of power, and this is Michael speaking in the spirit, and this is representative of all the prophets, man, in this time, man. It said, But truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema of Shai, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Because that's, that's the biggest kryptonite to our nation is sin. So the Most High has ordained men in the latter times. All right, to judge these situations, man, on what our people should be doing and not be doing, man, you know? And we, all right, have to be examples of that, man, because we can't just say it and not be followers of it, man, you know? Because the prophets are even held on a much higher uh, 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 scale, you know, than everyone else, all right? There are certain things that if we do, we get jacked up immediately, man, you know? How about Shema Shah has a low tolerance with the men that he set up to be judged, man. All right? That's why this is a, this is not a thing. Being a prophet is not a thing of perks. It's a thing of responsibility, man. We'll get the perks in the kingdom. All right? We'll get the perks in the time of Jacob trouble when the standard is lifted and when favor is shown. But right now, it's a thing of responsibility, man. And we have to examine ourselves more than anyone. You see? But the most I had set up that authority in the earth amongst the prophet, all right, to uh, uh, tell our people their transgression, man, to show them exactly where they're going off, man. Let's get that. And, um, let's get that second Timothy. So the whole thing now, that's why the most high, you know, pretty much tell us don't waste a lot of time with, don't waste no time with unbelievers, man. Focus on those that believe because. The ones that believe are getting it, 
and they're being all right edified and built up you see <laughs> but the ones that they don't get it all right they're just a waste of time man and the most high all right it get to the point where he's from the judge man all right because going into 2022 all right you gotta think about it look what our people have participated in they participated in halloween then they did the thing killing then they did the uh the, the, the pretty much the, the Satan High Holy Day, you know, with the Christmas, you see? And now they're going into 2022, 20, all right, with this Satanic energy on them and all this condemnation on them, man. So when the Most High opened up in judgment, we finna see a lot of Israelites get jacked up, man, all right? Now, let's get 2 Timothy 3 and 16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and righteousness, man. And that's what this thing is about. Building up the elect, all right? Instructing the elect in righteousness, man. You know? And we're all getting better at this thing, man. To where righteousness becomes a lifestyle. We're not perfect, but now we have a righteous intent about ourselves, man. You know? Our intent is to always do righteous in every situation, man. Learning to judge matters in righteousness man you know learning humility learning how to deal with brothers you know learning how to deal with each other learning how to forgive you know learning how to build each other up man because even if we you know rebuke all right we have to also be able to build each other up man you know and that's what this thing is about you know the elect constantly getting better and that's what we're focusing on man but you see the majority of our people they're gone man all right and it's just a matter of time where the Most High going to open up and just start removing characters from the script, man. Uh, because this is nothing new. Because right now, Israel's folly is just on display. That's why you got all these different apps. All these apps mm -hmm. ain't for people to be famous. All right? No, these apps is people showcasing their folly, man. All right? We're seeing people showcase their folly. TikTok, Instagram. Uh, 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 Snapchat. You see, this is nothing but people showcasing their folly. You know, he's showing us the folly of these people, just like he did Ezekiel. You see, Ezekiel didn't have that technology, you know, but Most High was showing them, all right, what Israel was really about. You know, because a lot of times before social media, you didn't know what a person. How they how they thought like they thought process no one know knew that people had these bugged out thought processes until the social media came out you know you knew people was awful look but we didn't know it was this bad until they started speaking it on TikTok freely man because it's, it's demons on this it's enchantments on them man they pretty much just make people open up you know them demons just pretty much showcase themselves on people man you know now when you go to Ezekiel chapter 8, all right, I start at Ezekiel 8 and 7. I started on, um, I started at 5, Ezekiel 8 and 5. said, Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thy eyes now, all right, the way toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy, all right, in the entrance. See, the most I have jealous that our people are giving so much attention to these other deities, man. You know? I the scripture tell you that what? The uh, 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 that the spirit of rage is the jealousy of a man. You see, the most high is enraged with our people giving their energy to these other deities, man. You know? When he's the creator of everything, man. He's responsible for everything, man. You know? Everything that, that anyone has, how about Shemal Shah is the source of that, man. Every time you eat, all right? Every time you're able to pay a bill, you know? Every every time you're able to enjoy yourself, how about Shemal Shah is responsible for that, man. He created these things, man. You see? But our people, they give their glory to another deity, man. And, and, and how about Shema al is getting infuriated, you know? And it says, He said, Furthermore, unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? 
even the great abomination that the house of Israel committed here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations, uh, and thou shalt see greater abominations. So the Most High was pretty much putting uh, 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 Israel finally on display for Ezekiel, just as he's doing for us, man. You know, Israel's folly is on display, man. He's telling us, look what they do. And then he said, now, now look at this. This, this is a greater abomination than this, man. You know? And it says, then, this is um, Ezekiel 8 and 8. He said, then said he unto me, son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold a door. And he said unto me, Come in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. Yeah, and even on these apps, when you go into these apps, it's like you're opening a door, like you're going into a portal of a different uh, realm. You see? And that's what I say. It's the same thing Ezekiel was saying. It said we just have apps now, man. Technology, man. And it says, and he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do. So I went in and saw... And behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel, all right, portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them, uh, Jazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and with a thick cloud of incense, Went up. So what they was doing, they was offering sacrifice and incense to other deities, man. And these were, you know, supposed to be the ancients and the elders of Israel, you know. And what's another? And another thing, what people gonna find out, all right? What Israel gonna find out soon is a lot of these guys that call themselves leaders and teachers, man. They are heavily, all right, involved, all right, in satanic worship, man. You know, that's why you see the energy that these guys come in, man. Cause you got like that guy Deacon uh, uh, from Sakari, he gets infuriated about your house shot. You know, you can tell when someone is mentioning your house shot too much, it hits a nerve, man. You see, Nate, he he hated the name your house shot. All right, I should be kept General Yohanna. He put himself as if he's a messiah, man. So what? And then they went out there all black with shades on all the time. That ain't no coincidence, man. And a lot of you people going to find out that these men are satanic, man. All right? And that they, they made backroom deals, man. And, 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 and the Most High is showing Ezekiel all this, man. All right? And it says, um, verse 12, it says, then said, him, then said he unto me, son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his uh, imagery, for they say the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shah see it does not. Yeah, because they feel that they can fool men. All right. <laughs> yeah, he, he hate to hear that name, like the elder said. But they think they can fool, if they can fool men, that they fooling Yahweh by Shema Shah. They think if they can pull the wool over the eyes of men, you know, still be looked at as these great teachers and leaders amongst Israel, getting praise, getting donations. And, you know, getting flights across the earth and, you know, all these different things as if they're fooling the most high. You know? <laughs> but everything is being documented, man. Nothing is secret. is going to stay secret, man. And these guys going to be exposed, all right, before their judgment, man. You know? And you and you Israelites that, 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 that blindly follow these people, you're going to get caught up in that judgment, man. And it says, um... This is uh, back in Ezekiel 8 and 12. It said, Then said he unto me, Son of man, Hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his uh, imagery? For they say, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, sees us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. All right? It's, get, it's getting worse. It said, Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north, and beheld there was a woman weeping for Tammuz. And who is Tammuz? That's the son, all right, of Semiramis and Nimrod. All right, that's where you get that whole holy trinity from, man. All right, of uh, Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz. You see? 
the son, the, 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 they call Tammuz the son of God because they consider Nimrod to be the sun god. And they consider Tammuz to be his son. That's so they consider him what? The son of God. You see? That's what you people are worshiping. You're weeping for Tammuz. You're giving your energy unto Tammuz. You see? Because all these different deities that the heathen worship pretty much stem back to that Babylonian empire, which was that anti-Messiah empire that dominated the earth, man. You know? Because Semiramis later became Isis, all right? Uh, Nimrod later became Ra. All right, and Tammuz later became a uh, uh, Horus, man. You see, it's nothing but the same deities being recycled. All right, until modern day time, man. So you people, you people are worshiping anti-Messiah deities, man. You know, and like I say it gets deep. You know, brothers, can, you know, brothers go into it, but the the, the, the gist of it all is it, all rooted in anti-Messiah deities, man. That our people worship, and that's why our people have this anti-Messiah energy upon them, man. You know? And it says, verse um, 15, Then said he unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? Turn ye dead again, all right, yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, the door of the temple of the Lord, Yahweh, all right, between the porch and the altar, about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, all right, rebellion, and their faces toward the east, and they worship the sun toward the east, man, the actual sun. You see, they worship the actual sun, which this is what this whole uh, uh, Saturnalia goes into, you know, the birth of the sun, because the heathens like, well, the days are getting shorter, the sun is leaving us, all right. But then on, on the 21st, when days get a little bit, start getting a little bit longer again, that's the birth of the sun coming back. So they will what? Celebrate that. The sun is coming back. All right? The actual sun. And that's what our people are giving their energy to. All right? Is, is paganism, man. Satanism. Idolatry, man. And there's going to be a great judgment for that. You know? So at the end of the day, we in a time where everything is about to be judged, and either you're being con e either you're being conditioned, all right, for uh, salvation, or you're being uh, 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 the Most High has a rebellious spirit on you, so He can jack you up, man, so He can judge you accordingly, man. You know, so these are the times that we are in, man. So I end it here in Romans. Get this last scripture in Romans, all right. Like the uh, Yakanun, all right. The brother in Memphis, Yakanun, said yesterday, account man, either you're gonna choose the beast or your house shot, man. Ain't no in between, you know, ain't no neutral parties, all right. In this spiritual war, man, you know, you giving your energy to something, all right. Either it's your house shot or Satan. Now, this is on uh, Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. By the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, man. So we have, going back to what? The scriptures are here for instruction. So we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. That's through obedience. That's through faith, man. You see? And it says, and be not conformed to this world, this society, this satanic society. Don't be conformed to it. You see? It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, all right, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable will, and, all right, an acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, man. And now we understand that the Most High is grooming his elect, all right, to be delivered, you know, and the men of the elect is being groomed to rule with Yahweh, man. That's his will. The Most High is ready to see righteousness in the earth, man, all right. He's tired of people giving their energy to Satan. To all these different deities, to all the different folly worshiping creation. No, the earth is going to worship Yahweh by Shema Osha in truth, man. All right, their righteous theocracy, man. You know, it's going to be a righteous theocracy, man, where all the kings of the earth, Israel, the Israelite men, are going to be the kings of the earth, and everyone is going to reverence our power, man, the true power. Not all this madness and these myths and these made up stories, man. You know, 
So Lord will, it was edif you, know, you brothers and you few sisters were edified. Once again, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, say, taste and hope for Till next time, I say, Shalom, one, on Yahshua, Allah, on Father, Father, DTA, soon. <clears throat>